Hey guys, Rumbi Sips are here, back again, this time doing more Brawl Stars. This one is a bit different. We're talking about what do we foresee being the best brawler in Brawl Stars. I personally have to say El Primo is definitely at the top, if not one of the top brawlers. He may not be the best per se, because I can't really say 100% that he is number one, because I don't have all the heroes or the brawlers, and I haven't played every single one. But I have played against every single brawler in this game. And so far, as far as consistency and just annoyance, El Primo is the, the cream of the crop here. You know, he's definitely the top as far as most picked, as far as the most annoying, because he can just jump in, jump out, do a lot of damage. And it's just absurd how well he can do in these, some of these modes. But let's go ahead and get into a match. We'll do the bounty, do a brawl. Maybe, oops, whoopsie, quit, quit, quit. Brawl, brawl, El Primo. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try to go for bounty here where we just have to get kills and hold on to our kills and end up with the most stars here. One thing I have to be careful of is I can happen to get just destroyed uh, at the first fight simply because of the fact that um, uh, what happens is I get a lot of pop shots on me and it's pretty, pretty annoying. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> that was scary, dude. I'm trying not to get hit here. There we go. I gotta be careful of him. He has a pretty long range, but it's really, really annoying. Here we go. Whew! We're doing pretty good. I mean, we're, we're pretty tanky, so we're holding our own quite well. I gotta go ahead and get some health back here. Let's just get out. So you can see there, like, his, his ability to just sustain and stay very, very mobile is very, very annoying. Like, there's not much you can do, per se. <laughs> God, this this guy is so strong though. They're looking for me. They're looking for blood. I have to be careful, so I'm gonna go ahead and back out and just heal up. There we go. Let's jump in. Take her out. <laughs> there we go. You can see here, like, he, he is really, really, really strong. And now, granted, you can do things like this with other brawlers if you're really good with that particular brawler. Say, landing skill shots or landing your, your you know, your target, you're hitting your targets with, like, the dynamite, whatever it may be. Whoever you're playing, you can perform in a similar manner. But I feel like with El Primo, because he is really tanky and he has a lot of mobility, it just makes it a lot easier. Um, and so long as you're being actively uh, aggressive and trying to not keep yourself in harm's way 100% of the time, using your abilities wisely, uh, he excels far quicker, I think, than other brawlers in this game, personally. Let's go and do one more match. Hopefully we can properly, you know, show what I'm talking about here again. So do Bounty, El Primo. Um, yeah, I, I just really feel like he's... He's really strong, a lot more consistently consistently than other brawlers thus far. We got two El Primos this time, which it could be good, but it might not be good. Because what happens is, well, we will uh, more than likely get outranged quite a bit, which is not a good thing. That 
stuck. One thing I do notice though, I, I, I don't know if it's just me or what, but I've noticed there are times where I lose the ability to move my character momentarily, and that can be pretty annoying in itself. Let's go and heal up. Got a bear coming at us. We want to take him out. Just kind of kite him back. There we go. <laughs> it's so fun, dude. But yeah, just really, you gotta use your mobility to your advantage here. Okay, I have to be careful. I actually probably could have picked him up, but I was a little weary of his, of my health, so we have to be careful of that. This guy is dead. There we go. Just gonna kite back this bear here. I would highly advise taking out the bears first, though, because they start to rack up a lot of damage. I'm just going to hold back. There's no point in me fighting if we're going to win right here. So I'm going to hold back, wait out the seconds here, play smart, not play dumb. <laughs> I don't want to lose all these points. Alright, there we go. So... Not too bad. So you kind of get an idea of why he's strong. Granted, this does take a somewhat level of skill to play him properly. And I'm not saying I play him the best in the game right now. I'm just saying that if you have a little bit of knowledge in how he plays and how his ultimate functions, you can excel quite quickly in this game just using El Primo personally. I think he is one of the top. May not be the top because I can't, like I said, say that he is without properly playing all the other brawlers but being able to play against all these other brawlers so far i feel like he is the best in the game in my opinion um because no matter what i i seem to be doing quite well against any of these heroes or brawlers the only one i find can be pretty taxing at least in my opinion so far has been uh i think it was at colts I believe it was Colt. Yeah, I think Colt so far has been the most troublesome for me. He has some pretty nice damage output, uh, especially if you stay just directly in line of him. He'll just barrel right into you, uh, which really, really hurts because even though I have a lot of health, he has a lot of projectiles going out at once and it's pretty nasty. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode showing you off or showing off one of the potential best brawlers in the game. In my opinion, what did you guys think? Let me know down below if you think El Primo is the cream of the top, the cream of the crop here today on the uh, Brawl Stars, and I will see you guys next time. Later. Oh shit! Nuclear launch detected.